in the cases when the potential energy is not zero, but can still be as approximately, approximated to be a constant, life is not so bad. In this case, the Schrodinger equation looks like this. because I have that extra potential term here, which was zero in the last case, but now is constant. And so we can define this to be a new wave number squared times psi, where k prime squared is that. And then again, we would expect psi to be something like either plus or minus i k prime x. So if, for example, we had a potential energy curve that looked like this, This was a value u naught. I would expect the wave function to look something like something like that. Here, k is large because the potential energy is zero, and therefore lambda is small. Here, k prime is small because now this potential energy subtracts off from the total energy, and therefore the wavelength in this region is large. All of this happens right there at this boundary at the place where the potential energy changes from being zero on up to u naught. We still require psi of x to be continuous at this boundary. And we have to require that d psi dx is continuous because this is related to the momentum and we want that to be continuous. That also has to be true because d squared psi or dx squared makes a continuous jump, uh, only a finite jump. So since this makes a finite jump as we go from there to there, remember d squared psi dx squared is equal to this, this is changing by a finite amount Therefore, the derivative only can change by, it should be continuous. I don't need the second derivative to be continuous, but I do need the first derivative to be continuous. So as we're sketching this wave function, intuitively we should have a wave number that's relatively large here, or a wavelength that's small, and then it should transition to a wavelength that's larger. This is the case when E is greater than u naught. So we can still solve uh, for potentials like this, as long as it's a potential that's constant, and the energy uh, is greater than that constant. So even for our complicated potentials, it looks like this, we can build up an approximate solution out of stepwise functions, each with their own constant value of u naught. So having even this kind of intuitive understanding is helpful.